Johnny here. I'm now back in Ascalay, having completed the Wild Frontiers K2 Concordia charity trek. Before I show you some images of what turned out to be a pretty epic journey, I thought I'd uh, show you the reason why we were up here and who we were raising the money for. So behind me is uh, Balagon School. This is in the Hershey Valley in northern Pakistan. This is the first school that the Wild Frontiers Foundation is going to sponsor. We're up here to do a trek to K2 Base Camp, which we start tomorrow. Um, and the group has raised an amazing £10,000 for this school. That will provide a new classroom, desks that they don't have at the moment and chairs. It'll provide uniform for the children, books, pens, but most importantly it'll also provide a teacher's salary for five years. This is absolutely fantastic for a primary school like this that has nearly a hundred uh, pupils but only one teacher and two rooms with no furniture whatsoever. Education in this part of Pakistan is woefully underfunded and of course it's so important that the kids get a, a decent start in life. The Wild Frontiers Foundation has been going for two years now, but this is the first time we've really got involved in a project as kind of intimately as this. And it's going to be incredibly interesting to see how, over the next couple of years, it all develops. So this is our campsite in uh, Ascole, the last village before the trek starts up to K2. Amazingly, just for the eight of us trekking, we need a total of 65 porters. It's nothing short of a military operation. Um, porters to carry stuff for the porters, and so it goes down until eventually um, we have enough stuff up there. We're going to head off this morning up uh, northeast to start the trek. So this is the first morning's walk from Ascale. I have to say it's been very easy, a nice, quiet, easy run-in um, for what is bound to get a lot trickier trek. As we go on, I can see the Baltora Glacier looming up ahead. Quite an ominous sight to be thinking that we're going to be going all the way up there. It really is the most dramatic scenery, but uh, so far it's absolutely beautiful. Easy. I'm now sitting uh, just above Urdukas camp, which is the fourth of the seven camps we're going to be staying at, and uh, looking out across the Baltora Glacier. I have to say, it is one of the most surreal landscapes I've ever seen. It's kind of Martian-like, or as if it's from another planet. It's not pretty. In fact, it looks rather like a slag heap. But uh, it is remarkable. And of course, the mountains above are absolutely stunning and that's really why we're here. Of course up ahead of us this way is the trail that we're going to be taking tomorrow up towards Broad Peak, Concordia and K2. Um, still got quite a long way to go. Well it's been snowing all night. We've now got I don't know a foot or so of snow but thank goodness it looks like finally the sun is starting to break through the clouds. We're just going to hold up here for a little bit before making the last push up to Concordia um, because obviously if the snow comes again and we get stuck up at Concordia that's quite a serious situation so we're going to stay here just wait for the clouds to break a bit further and then carry on but it's a big relief. Well it's snowed all day today, it's been quite a tough walk not so much physically, actually it's been quite easy physically. We're all well acclimatised now and everything. It's more mental trudging across this quite harsh, barren landscape. But uh, we all just keep hoping to see the sun. We've got two days, or two and a half days really, up here around Concordia to see the peaks. It would be rather depressing if we had to go back without seeing any of them. Well this is Concordia. 
we made it up here at about five o'clock. It's just gone six, and the sky has cleared to some degree, and uh, we're just beginning to get a glimpse of what lurks behind these clouds. On my right hand side, it is K2, the second highest mountain in the world and the highest in Pakistan, 8,611 meters high, climbed by uh, Italians in uh, 1954 for the first time. Well, I can't believe it, but after those last two days of virtually solid snow, it has now cleared. It's 7.30 in the morning, we're standing at Concordia, the throne room of the gods, and they're all visible to us. It's a big relief, I can tell you. And it's definitely one of the most beautiful sights I have ever seen.